What's up everyone? So I'm doing another video here today on Halloween. Happy Halloween everyone. Uh, I just wanted to talk about the overall market, particularly the S&P 500. Um, that's just what I like to trade. It doesn't really matter what you trade. Do you trade the Dow or the NASDAQ or whatever, but even the IWM like Russell or um, QQQ. Um, but anyways, here we go. I want to get into what I think are some possibilities for the following week to four weeks, you know. Um, today's Saturday, we have the election on Tuesday. Um, so that'll be exciting um, to see what happens with the market, see if we get any limit ups or downs. Um, I don't anticipate anything like that. Honestly, I really don't. Um, Monday's gonna be the most interesting day to me because as you can see, these possibilities I have right here, I think that we're either gonna get a rip right into here, um, and maybe into this area around 336. And then I think we're gonna drop back down to 306 or more. Um, that's just my one of my predictions. The other way would be straight down on Monday. If we're, if we're like really down futures uh, tomorrow night, like like Dow's down more than three, 400 points, I'm gonna be expecting uh, to be really bloody today, or uh, this week, all, all week. I think that this red one will probably shape up because that's just, um, you, you've broken those lines. So you guys can see all my lines are here. Um, real quick, I will go ahead and give you guys an hourly view so you can see why I drew those lines and where I drew them. Let's see, zoom up like this. All right, it's not gonna be super clear because it's such a far stretch across the screen, but you guys can see, hopefully, this is why I drew the lines. I mean, you can kind of tell that this is just the really congested area where there's the most amount of price contact, where there was the most shares traded. I'm, I mean, I'm assuming, of course, obviously there were some higher volume areas other places, but um, I could overlay the volume on the side. You guys have seen people do that where they overlay it based on the vo uh, volume by price, uh, which is really useful. I used to use that all the time, but um, you could honestly put another, another, um, hourly spot like somewhere right in here it's not going to be very strong but um yeah somewhere like right in there would be another spot that we're going to have to come through on the way up but if, if if we're moving up right here i don't even think that this is this this line right here is going to be a problem i think that we're all we're we're mainly concerned about this one and maybe this one but um again above above this one we're, we're going really long um and I, I, if, if we go above this one, I'm going long on SPY options, probably um, probably like 2022, the middle of the year, like a year and a half out. So, um, and I'll just hang on to those um, for a while because I don't think it's gonna be completely smooth sailing. Obviously we're gonna have to have a downturn eventually, but um, that's if the market is, is booming moving forward, which I, I'm kind of iffy about, I don't know. I think that we're gonna get a big cool down soon. I just, I, I think that's coming within the next six months. I, everybody says that, so I, it doesn't mean anything, but um, yeah, these are my three main ones. Um, if you guys have, have any questions or you guys want me to do any charts, just comment below and I will, uh, I'll read all of them. Um, yeah, if you guys wanna see more of these, subscribe. I'm gonna um, probably be doing market videos just every, every week just to, um, update you guys on my my current chart if you guys even just wanted to like copy the levels that i have and kind of trade based on that that would be you could do that if i'm giving it to you every week you know um hopefully that you guys drawing the levels in yourself would kind of help you learn um but yeah um that's all i got for you guys i i just think that this week's gonna be really volatile um regardless of what happens we're either going at least we're at least covering this space pretty quickly or we're moving through these ranks here. Um, and once we drop through here, I don't really anticipate any turning back until until here, but I could be wrong. We'll see, I think if we, if we get a, we, we could also get like a, 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 we could go to here and then come all the way back down to 290, who knows? I, we could even go to lower than 290. Anything possible, you guys know how this market is. Trump could win and the market could limit down. I mean, it seems absolutely crazy, but who knows? Um, who knows? Every, 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 when everybody expects one thing, it usually the opposite happens, I've found. So, um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Comment below, like I said, subscribe, like this video if you enjoyed it, and we will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. See you guys.